Traditional bookkeeping is a very difficult and a time consuming process. And so a relational database of the library services is created. Hello everyone, myself Rishab Sharma presenting to you the DBMS case study project for the group one of BSC Honors Computer Science second year on the set topic that is a library information system. The reference for our project is the Georgia Tech Library case study from book Fundamentals of DBMS 7th edition by Damati. The group members of our project are Ayush Gupta, Chinmay Prabhapant, Preshta, Asides Me. Now coming to the case study, the problem statement of our case study is that a proposed database system must be designed to keep the track of the members, the books, the catalog and the related boring activity. That is in short, the librarians must be able to keep the track of the number of books that are available issued by members and also make sure that the books are available when they are required by the members. And also the librarians must have a system that keeps the books that cannot be lent as well as the books that they are interested in acquiring. Now coming to the system description of our case study. The system description goes as follows that the catalog of books is available online that lists books by its author, title and subject area with a description that ranges from one sentence to several pages. The library staff includes chief librarian, departmental associate librarians, reference librarians, checkout staff and library assistants. Also, the library does not lend some books such as reference books and must differentiate them from the books that can be lent. And also, in addition, the librarians have a list of some books that they want to acquire. To become a member of the library, and the applicant needs information like SSN, campus and home emailing addresses and the phone numbers. And in return, they are issued a machine readable card with members photo on it that is valid for four years. And also the professors at the institutes are automatic members and the information is pulled from the employee records and all the things are sent or mailed to their campus addresses. Now coming to the constraints, the system constraints of our system, there are some constraints like the books can be checked out only for 21 days and the members are allowed to have maximum of five books checked out at a time and they are given a one week of grace before a notice is sent to them. Coming to the professor, the professors are allowed to check out the books for three month intervals and they have a grace, grace period of two weeks. Now also there are some assumptions in the project. And like the first assumption is that a title can have multiple copies, but they have a unique accession number in the library. Now the reason for this is that the book with the same, the two books may have the same title. Therefore, the title cannot be used for as a means of identification. And therefore, every book is identified by its international standard book number ISBN, which is a unique international code for every book. The two books with same title can have different ISBNs if they have different bindings or or are issued in different languages. Now also a book can be renew book can be reserved by a member only for one week within which they have to issue it from the library. Also being a university library member can only be a student or a teacher belonging to a particular department with a unique code and is headed by a HOD. And also an author is stored in the database only if their books are available in the library database. Now there are some books that uh, the library wants to acquire and they keeps a count of those books in, in itself. And also there are certain copies that cannot be issued to the users to the members due to following reasons like the to curb the shortage or because the books may be belonging to a particular category like reference books or maps. So this was basically the case study of our project and basic introduction. Now we would be covering the other details in the second half of the video. In the ER diagram, there are four entities, one of which is a member. A member has a unique SSN. It has a multi-valued phone number. Member type states whether the member is a faculty or a student. There are other attributes as specified in the question. Now, each member belongs to a department and since multiple members can be part of one department, it is a n is to one relationship and each member has to be a part of a department. Hence, it is a total participation. There is another entity type, which is the library card. Each member has only one library card and each library card can be associated with only one member and a member has to compulsorily have a library card. Hence, it is one to one relation with total participation. Here expiry date is a derived attribute from the card issue date. The fourth entity in our ER diagram is book. A book has a unique accession number 
Its other attributes are the subject area, title, description and ISBN. A author is a weak entity type since two authors can have the same name and it is in an identifying relationship with the book entity type. Library staff is another entity which has employee ID as its unique identity. Now each member can issue a book which is issued by a library staff. This is shown by a ternary relationship. Here a member can issue multiple books and a book can be issued by multiple members. Hence it is an M is to N relationship. A member may issue multiple books and a book may be issued by multiple members. However, a book can be issued to a member only through one library staff. Hence the cardinality here is one. A member can also reserve a book in order to issue it at a later date. This is represented using a relationship called reserve which is M is to N. This is the enhanced entity relationship model of our case study. Here the library staff is specialized into disjoint subsets. It is disjoint since a member may only have one designation at a time. The departmental associate librarians have a attribute department. Books entities are specialized into issuable and not issuable types of books. These are disjoint since a book can either be issuable or it cannot be issued. Further, the non issuable subtype is specialized into books that are currently in the library which can be of type reference or maps or rare books and it could be books that are to be acquired by the library. If so, how many number of copies that are required are kept track. This specialization is overlapping since it could be that there are certain books that are in the library but more number of copies may be required so they may be a part of the to be acquired subset too. Hello guys, I am Ayush and in this module I am going to discuss how we have mapped ER and ER diagram into relational database schema. So basically there are 9 steps for this and we will be going step by step. The first step is mapping of regular entity types. In our database we have 5 regular entities that is book, staff, member, department and card and each has a separate relation. The book has access number as primary key, staff has ID member has SSN as the primary, card has card number and department has depth code and other attributes are the normal attributes of the relation. Next is mapping of weak entity type. The weak entity type in our database is author. So to uniquely identify it, the primary key from the base table that is access number from book is included in the author table. Next is the mapping of one to one binary relationship. The library card and member has one to one relationship and we have used the foreign key approach. So the card number from the card table is included in the member table as the foreign key. Step 4 is mapping of binary one is to n relationship. The department and member has one to n relationship in our database. So the primary key of the department that is depth code is included in the member table as the foreign key. The fifth is the mapping of binary m is to n relationship. So the member and book has M is to N relationship. Thus, we have used the cross reference or relationship relation approach, uh, which in, uh, in which the SSN of member table and access number of book table is included in the reserve relation. Next is the mapping of multi-valued attribute. So each multi-valued attribute has a separate relation, which in, and to uniquely identify it, the uh, primary key from the base table is included in it. Next is the mapping of NRE relationship. So member, book and staff in our database has NRE relationship. So we have used the cross reference approach. Uh, the issued by relation contains the primary key of each of the participating relation in this relationship. Next is the mapping of specialization and generalization. So the library staff which is a generalization contains the type attribute in the relation to uniquely identify each of the specified department. So now uh, we have used the multiple relations superclass and subclass where the book is the superclass and the subclasses are to be acquired in relationship which, which are the separate relations by themselves. 
so this is all in this module so in this module i am going to show you how we have created the schema and populated data in oracle using sql so the general syntax to create the table is create table table name parenthesis followed by attribute attribute type and constraint this is the general syntax and the general syntax to create insert data in the table is insert into table name values and the set of values that we want to insert similarly we have created other tables like the card table book table author table uh, so basically there are two types of constraints that are defined at the attribute level and one that is defined at the table level uh, we have used the on update on delete constraint with the foreign key which specifies that if any change is made at the in the relation of book then uh, the change is also made in the author relation and if any changes uh, if any field is deleted then the default uh, rule is applied in the author table uh, this is the staff relation this is the in library relation which also includes the on update and on delete constraint this is the to be acquired relation this is the member relation which includes a constraint named max book which specifies or checks that the maximum number of books should not be greater than five this is the member phone relation this is the reserve relation and this is the issued by relation so this is all from my end